Welcome to this Midjourney tutorial for beginners where you will learn how to use Midjourney to create stunning AI art. I'll be taking you through everything you need to know from getting access to the program to using it to create beautiful AI art, logo designs, physical product designs, and even interior designs. I'll also show you some advanced prompts like how to upload a reference image and create cool self-portraits and how to change the aspect ratio and layout of your images. I'll put the timestamps in the description below if you want to skip ahead to any section. So let's get started and create some amazing AI art with Midjourney. So what is Midjourney and why is everyone talking about it? Midjourney is the most popular text to image generator. It allows you to easily create stunning pieces of AI art without any prior knowledge of Photoshop or design skills. All you have to do is type some text and the program will generate an image for you. That's what makes Midjourney so revolutionary. The founder of Midjourney believes that the world needs more imagination and this tool makes it so much easier to bring your ideas to life. Is Midjourney free to use? The answer is yes and no. Midjourney offers a free trial where you can generate around 25 images without subscribing. This is more than enough to try out the tool and get a feel for it. Everything I'll show you in this video can be done on the free plan and at the end, I'll show you how to buy a subscription and how it works a bit differently. All right, so you want to know how to access Midjourney AI. First things first, you'll need to have Discord. If you don't already have it, head to discord.com and download it for free. It works on computers, tablets, and smartphones, so you're good to go no matter what device you're using. When you download it, you'll be prompted to create an account. Once you've done that, the next step is to join Midjourney's Discord server. Simply go to midjourney.com and click on the Join the Beta button. Just like that, Midjourney will be added to your account and you'll see the Midjourney logo on the sidebar. Now you're all set to start using the AI image generation tool. To create an image with Midjourney, first head to one of the newcomer's channels on the left sidebar. You'll see all the other images people are creating and the prompts they're using. It might look chaotic, but I find it's a great source of inspiration. When you're ready to make your own image, find the text box at the bottom of the channel, type slash imagine followed by a space and your prompt. I'll give you an easy one to start with. Type in your country as a beautiful woman or your country as a beautiful man, whatever you prefer and hit enter. Since we're new here, we gotta accept the terms of service first before we can create our image. Once you do that, you can go ahead and enter your prompt again and give the bot a minute to work its magic. Discord will automatically show the newer posts as they come in, so you might need to scroll down to find your post. If it moves too fast and you can't find it, click on the inbox icon in the top right and under mentions, you'll see all your images. And if you click just above the images, it will bring you back to the chat. All right, so once the bot is done working, you should see four pictures in a two by two grid, each with a different take on your prompt. And below those pictures, we'll see a bunch of buttons. U means upscale, like make a higher quality version of the same photo. And V means variations, like make new pictures based on this one. And there's also a refresh icon next to U4, which means to try again. I like the first picture and the one in the top left, so I'm gonna click V1 to make four more variations of it. All right, so again, to find your images, you can scroll down through the chat or click the inbox in the top right and look under your mentions. Now you'll see the four variations of the image you selected. You can click on the images to see them more closely. From here, you can repeat the cycle again to get more variations or click U to get a higher quality version that you can use on social media or elsewhere. Then scroll down again to find the final version. To save it, just right click and save it to your desktop or wherever you want. All right, so now you know the basics of creating AI art with Midjourney, but there's so much more that this tool can do. And since you will still have plenty of credits on the free trial, let's run through some interesting prompts, examples, and use cases you can try out. Did you know that you can upload your own image to Midjourney and turn yourself into a superhero or see yourself in a new style? It's super cool and totally easy to do. All you gotta do is use a reference image prompt and I'll walk you through it step by step. So you ready to give it a try? First, you'll need to upload your reference image. To do this, simply click on the plus button, select upload a file, choose your image and click open. Once it's in the chat, hit enter. Next, scroll down to find your image, click on it and right click to copy the link. Now we're ready to use this reference image to generate a new AI image. To do this, type slash imagine, and then paste in the link you just copied and add any additional instructions. 
I'll keep it simple and put in Pixar art, but you can add any style or character you want. Hit enter again and scroll down to find your image. Alright, so from here you can repeat the process to get even more variations and find the perfect final version. This could be a cool social media profile picture or just an example to show your friends about the power of these new AI tools. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comments how your self-portraits turned out. Alright, now let me walk you through the process of creating a professional-looking logo for your business using Midjourney. It's super easy, all you gotta do is type slash imagine and type in your prompt. For example, I'll ask Midjourney to create a simple logo for a stand-up paddleboard company and the bot comes back with some great ideas. The AI will pick out the colors, design, style, and font that best fit your business. One thing to keep in mind is that currently, text in Midjourney tends to show up as gibberish, but I'm sure this is something that will be improved in future versions. Despite this, I think the ability to generate logos that look professional and represent the business is truly amazing. As a business owner, you can come in here, go through the steps and get different variations, and once you have a design you like, you could send it to a freelancer on a site like Fiverr to make it perfect. What's cool about AI tools like this is that you can be involved in the design process even if you don't have design skills. That's pretty empowering, right? Have you noticed that by default, images on Midjourney are square? That's because the default aspect ratio is 1 to 1, meaning that the width and height of an image are the same. But did you know that you can change the aspect ratio to create different image types? For example, a portrait style image would have an aspect ratio of 2 to 3 and a landscape photo would have an aspect ratio of 3 to 2. To change the aspect ratio in Midjourney, simply add the A or parameter followed by the desired ratio when creating your image. For example, if you want to create a YouTube thumbnail, just add dash dash AR3 to 2 to your prompt to create a landscape style image. So go ahead and experiment with different aspect ratios when creating your image. Another great use case for Midjourney is using it to design physical products. To get the best results, it's recommended to use longer prompts when using Midjourney. The more details you include, the closer the image will be to your vision. But sometimes it can be hard to know what details to include. This is where ChatGPT comes in. ChatGPT is a free text-to-text -text AI tool that generates text based on your input. If you're new to ChatGPT, just click the link in the description to watch a video that will show you how to get set up and start using it. For example, let's say you have an idea for an 8-inch action figure of the Pope. I'm not religious, but I'm using this example as I'm pretty sure this product doesn't exist. Just ask ChatGPT to describe an image of the product in detail, and then input your product idea. Then you can use this detailed description in Midjourney to create an image of the product. Just go through the steps to get different variations until you get an image that brings your idea to life. You can then use this image to gather feedback or even pre-sell a product on websites like Kickstarter. This is another great example of how AI tools like Midjourney can improve efficiency and unleash a lot of human creativity. So give it a try for any product idea you have, no matter how wild or unconventional you think it is. Another interesting use case for Midjourney is using it to create interior design ideas. For example, you can ask it for room decoration ideas for a five-year-old girl who likes princesses and pink, using stuff from Ikea. And just like that, it will come back with four variations you can iterate on. I think AI tools like Midjourney have the potential to revolutionize the interior design and architecture industry. What do you think? All right, so now that we've gone through some examples and created a few images with Midjourney, you might be wondering how to check how many images you have left to create. To check your remaining GPU minutes, simply type slash info into the text box at the bottom of the screen, where you usually enter your prompts. By default, free trial accounts come with 25 GPU minutes, which is roughly equivalent to 25 images. So in this example, I have 15 GPU minutes or roughly 15 images remaining. That's all there is to it. Now you can keep creating content and know exactly how many images you have left to use. Once you've used up all your free credits, you can subscribe to Midjourney by typing slash subscribe. Follow the link Midjourney generates and choose the plan that works best for you. Each level allows you to create more images and you can either pay upfront for a discount or pay month to month. Once you've hit subscribe, you'll be taken to Midjourney's checkout page. Enter your payment details and hit subscribe one more time and your account will be upgraded right away. Back in Discord, you'll see a notification in the left sidebar. When you upgrade, one of the big advantages is that you can directly message the Midjourney bot to create your images right here without the need to scroll through the newbie channels. This keeps you out of the chaos and makes it easy to find your images. That's it for this Midjourney tutorial for beginners. 
Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other content. Thanks for watching.